My two daughters and my son and my great great grandson. He's only four years old. He got sick. Yeah. The and, and the oh, the yeah. This is my son. He said he's you got a dialysis run out dialysis. In the thing now. Mm. When they're diabetic, you got diabetes. Yeah. 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 And my, my daughter, she got a asthma problem, and also a heart. And she felt really sick. I said, what's wrong? Can you call an ambulance for somebody who's sick? My heart so fast. And she could hardly breathe properly. And so she's, like today, she's still in the hospital. And my grandson, I actually gave him Panadol. The syrup day, but the biggest problem is running down to it, red dead. Big rain a couple of weeks back. You know, Where the well, I was up to my ankles in it yesterday, and it's on the public space behind, um, not on Barnison, but behind Harvey Street. And the EPA have been there all morning, freaking out. So you don't know who you spoke to the health department? It's just them poor. How are they? Where you? You talk when you're talking to poor. And they, I'll, I'll ring the guy in the health department, I know him yeah. personally, and I told I talked to him about it when he, we finished. He came there and then I, I saw him all the Yeah. with the smell coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll talk to him personally, I know him personally, I'll ring him. Mm. Okay, we're going to run out of time. Barnison okay. Boulevard? Barnison Boulevard, um, this is the yeah. old tank farm. Now, yeah. Mindy, you know, you were talking about how everyone got sick in yes. 2005 and yeah. nobody knew why. Yes. And then I came down and said, oh my God, look at these toxins in the yeah. Shell Audit Report. Now, the big concern, and I think Council needs a copy of this EIS. We're demanding it. They're not, Dipple hasn't give it, given it to us. What? Now, these are toxins that will seriously affect surrounding residents. There's, in the Northern Territory Waste Management Act, you have to handle and dispose of these toxins in a particular way. And running a bulldozer through the place is not the particular way. Well, my concern is how are you going to protect these people yeah. from possible toxins coming onto their land or blowing onto them from the construction of this road. The only one How are you going to do it? The only one with the power to actually act on it is EPA, not the council. There's no the legislation but to back me up to do anything about it. Council, council regulations yeah. regarding yeah. neighbours putting stuff on people's land. Yeah. It's like next door they have a levy that the neighbour has to have there for their runoff. So this is a Northern Territory government owned loan. There are council regulations, I am sure, that so that the toxins cannot come onto one mile dam. Well, that's what I said to you. You have to speak to the EPA. The other thing I want to do is and I encourage you to actually, you to put a formal complaint in writing to the EPA, not a phone call, in writing to the EPA. If you're going to start something happening, you have to do it properly in your photo process. Uh, pay a phone and put a complaint, it's okay. Somebody might get a complaint. Put it in writing and give it to EPA, it's a different level of complaint. All right? And that's what I said. If there are complaints, concerns about um, some of the contaminants leaching from the cell side down to the one mile beach, EPA should investigate. EPA investigates and finds it's true. They've got the power to put a stop. All right? Council does not. I don't have the power to do that. I wish I had. I would have done a lot of things if I had, but I don't. I had to go personally through EPA to force power and water to take action on the Liania ponds for the smell because it affects so many people. Uh, if, I, if, there is a, if there are, if EPA comes up and says, we suspect this contaminants flowing there, I'll be out there voicing the same concerns with you. Because, it's, look, I've got a long history with one mile down from 1993. I was the one who said, do not eat what you catch in this lake. It's contaminated before they even start the remediation. All right? So if EPA, <coughs> the EPA has to do investigation, and you can ask it as a matter of urgency because, as Mindy said, people are getting sick. Find out where they're getting sick. Okay? And that's the way to go. Well, that. That suit could bust by himself, maybe somebody had to deliver it. Oh, no, no, it. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm just that look, toilet. The problem yeah. is not that it burst, the problem is that it was burst and nobody did anything for four months. And that's really, if I knew about that today, something happened, I'll be jumping up and down with you. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. Yeah, well, it's unacceptable.
okay, it's people's health. And the problem is because downhill, downstream, they were getting all the, the things. I mean, all of a sudden, because the newspaper might find out, that's why. And the dam is black now. Yeah. yeah. There used to be clean water there. Yep. Yep, it's because flat. it's been contaminated. Yeah. yeah. It's gone right around. Yeah. That's, um, the, that's the other thing uh, you have to and do. Ask the to do a test on the dam to find out the, qu the water quality. What's the dam What's now? What's the dam? And it runs right down to the dam now. Yeah. 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 I, I haven't seen it. What is it like? Well, they're becoming black. It's really it's black. Right. Black. Yeah. 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 I will talk to Xavier. Xavier Sovern is the director of environmental health. I will talk to him straight away. And I'll ask him to do the. How do you feel about that? Oh, well, yeah. Easy to do the phone while we're here, while we're here now. You can do that for us? No, I can talk to you. Yeah, can you make a phone call now while we're here now? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll, we're listen, here. I will speak to the, to the health department and ask them to actually act. Now and I will follow it up. Now while we're here. I've got a meeting, but I will do yeah, that. No, can I also make one more request? Are yeah. you going to be speaking to the EPA as well regarding the current Raw sewerage problem? No, no, the raw sewerage is not EPA, it's environment, it's environment, the health, yeah. health department. Okay, so they'll obviously. The EPA is actually other contaminants. Yeah. The okay. health department has to actually look they've at got it. Yeah. The sewerage. Coming onto yeah. their land from all yeah. sides. Yeah. Now, listen, there have been various departments there all morning yeah. coming and going. No one has actually stopped and spoken to yeah. any of the well, residents I'll, look, I'll at all, which I witnessed. I would personally speak to the head of the, of the health department. Yeah, okay. and, I, and, I, and, and I, I imagine that it probably would be helpful, not just, obviously there's got to be warnings. There's war I, I'm surprised. That but the, the, warnings can't, the warnings can't just be verbal. No, no, it has to be in writing. No, no, it has to be fixed. And I think it's probably about time that someone got out of their car and spoke no, to I'll these people. I will follow up straight away. Mindy, I will follow up straight away. And I'll well, let Catherine know. Look, well, thank you very much. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 No, no, it's I'm, 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 Thanks for that. Oh yeah, cool. Thank, thank you. you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Right, thank you. I need